Art can be found all around us, and it's not only just about a drawing or a painting, but in fact, it includes numerous branches of life, such as style, music, dance, etc. Consequently, art is a big part of our life, and by being so, it embeds parts of our personalities, meaning that the music we listen to, the way we talk, the way we draw, it all has little traits of our personalities. For example, uh, I've never noticed this until the beginning of this year, when we were working on our first artwork, which was a drawing of a still life by using any kind of media we wanted. Right off the bat, I started and I used pencil, which is much lighter, while my classmate went with a bolder choice, which was charcoal. From here, you could see a drastic difference between our styles. Moreover, I started using thinner and more precise lines, thus showing introverted and professionistic traits, while she used bold, harsh and messy lines, which represent her expressive personality. Again, the drawing on the right is much more expressive, much bolder and way out of my comfort zone. This observation that I've made has helped me a lot to get to know myself better and actually embrace this trace. I found it funny how such a simple assignment can accurately mirror your nature and emotions. And you might think to yourself, well, I'm not really the artistic type, so I don't know what you're talking about. But I'm here to tell you that that isn't necessarily true. Because if we take a common example, such as music, which I'm sure everybody here listens to, it could tell you a lot about your nature. For example, according to a recent study, where 350,000 people participated in to test the big five personality traits based on their music choices, Dr. Greenberg came to the conclusion that there was a distinct connection between music and psychology. Psychology. Extroverted people preferred contemporary music, openness was tied with sophisticated or cerebral styles, etc. And these findings were consistent throughout different countries. Moreover, the same study was done again, however, this time with paintings, and the results were the same. There was still that connection between art and psychology. According to the British Journal of Psychology, uh, the results were that participants who preferred representational art, like Impressionism, preferred contemporary styles of art, and openness, um, extrovert people preferred abstract art, and it also found out that people with neurotic tendencies, such as anxious, shy, moody, etc., uh, found pop art more appealing. Therefore, proving the point that the art that you like is mostly an accurate representation of who you are as a person. Even talking and giving a speech in front of people and the way you go about doing so is indicative of your personality traits. Even how you dress, like the use of colors, materials, layers, etc., it's a form of art in itself. I advise that sometime on your free time, you take a look and what you're doing, the art you like, the music you like, and compare it and contrast with the friend, since they're personality traits are more apparent to you. I think this is the greatest tool to get to know yourself better than in a superficial level and actually understand why you act the way you do. Thank you. <laughs>